I am mixing up some neon colored paint cones. So I wanted to show you guys how I do it. And first I'm going to go over these paints. So I use Amsterdam acrylics and the paint tubes have these little indicators that tell you whether they are transparent or opaque. The fully shaded in black square down here means that this paint color is opaque. And this one means that it's transparent, um, aka like see-through, especially if you're painting on a black background, which we usually do. And I find that neon colors always dry really dark and like not neon, like not bright or fluorescent looking at all. So you do have to tweak a little bit by adding opaque to the transparent to make them less dark. You can do white, um, or you can find a, a color that's kind of similar to the one that you are mixing. So I'm going to do here a big blob of the fluorescent yellow. I'm running low. I have another bottle here if I need it. Let me try to use this one first. You can see that the Amsterdam. Um, they're called, they call them reflex colors, but they're the, the neon ones of the brand. Uh, they're really runny compared to their like, regular ones. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some of this titanium yellow. Not a lot, just a little bit. And a little drop of white. Again, not a lot, just a little. And I'll show you how much I've got on there. Let's mix it together. Mix, mix, mix. And you can see it's getting like a little less bright looking, but that's only while it's wet. So once you use it and it dries, It'll look a lot nicer. This is like a really weird way to do this, but whatever. Another blob in there. So, okay, that's pretty full. And since it's so full, I have to get a big, thick piece of tape. And I'm going to like basically block the paint from oozing out. As you can see, it's like trying to escape. You can't go anywhere. Okay, and I'm gonna pinch the tape together so the paint can't leak out. Oops, touch the paint. Okay. And fold it over. Honestly, this is just like for the looks of it, really. You can get ugly if you want, it is sealed shut. And tape up. There's one. Next, we're going to do orange. And I'm going to mix in the Liquitex this time because I have it and it's a lot thicker. And I need to thicken up the Amsterdam. I'm going to add a teeny drop of white. Let me show you the difference. This is like no, oh, I think you get the idea. Next I'm doing the hot pink and I just wanted to point out that you don't need all these different brands of paint to mix up one color. This is just how I started recently 
because the Liquitex is thicker and the Amsterdam is thinner and I love the consistency that the two create together. And then here I am adding a tiny bit of white and also this Quinacridone Rose Light because I think that pink is beautiful and it mixes in really nicely with the other hot pinks. It's really hard to capture the neon colors on video, but here you can see that the Liquitex is a bit darker than the Amsterdam's, and this is the finished mix. Here's the green all mixed together. For the comparison chart, I did a thick dot of paint for each color and brand. I also did tiny little dots and a smear with a palette knife where parts of the smear are thick and parts are very thin, just so we can see what these look like dry. Here is the wet paint and two days later we have this. It's really hard to capture neon colors on camera, but here we go. So, uh, to my surprise, the Decorate um, Americana line was actually really bright and fluorescent, very similar, almost the same as the mix that I made, and then after that it's the Amsterdam Reflex line, and after that the rest of the colors are kind of crappy. The Liquitex uh, dries like super dark and not fluorescent at all. Here I tried to edit the images to best reflect the color of each dot and not the background, the black paper that they're on. So you can see up close that a lot of the little dots of the other brands look very dark and transparent, with the exception of Americana by Decor, which actually looked pretty decent. And then we have the yellow dots, which in my opinion are a lot more honest. You can see all the flaws more clear. So the mix here looks nice and bold. There's no outer ring on the big dot. The little dots look nice. This is the Amsterdam and you can see there is a thick layer of see-through paint around the edges. You don't want that. It doesn't look nice. It makes it look kind of fuzzy and blurry and just totally takes away from like how fluorescent the color could be. And then we've got the Americana by Deco Art. The big dot looks really nice and bright. Little dots, not as much, but overall still a pretty decent fluorescent paint. And then we've got the Crafters Acrylic by Deco Art. Mm, nothing nice to say about that one. It's very see-through. Even the big dot suffers. It's, yeah, no. I hope this video helps to explain how I get my colors to be so bright. Obviously they look much nicer in person and I hope that you try this out. If you have any questions, drop them below.